Hello guys. Okay. Hello, can, can someone hear me now? Can someone hear me now? I can't, I can't really remember if I enable the... Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for that feedback. So, we're about to do something very, very serious in here. Okay. All right, so we're about to do something very serious in here. However, before we start, uh, if you like, if you are, if you know you are a diehard follower of Fish Academy, you can just hit the like button. You don't need to. We are about to do something. We just get set. Uh, you can hit the like button. If you know you've been following us, you can hit the like button. If you, are, if you do appreciate what we've been doing on this channel, click on the like button. All right? It's only two people that appreciate what we have been doing here. It's only four people that appreciate what we've been doing here. All right? If you know you appreciate what we have been doing on this channel, click on the like button. If you don't like what we've been doing here, click on the thumb down button okay yeah come yes no uh, i want to talk what do you want to do uh, why huh? why see this boy if you know you like what we've been doing on this channel click on the like button we are about to do something serious some of you have not seen this process before in fact i don't think i've have made a video on how to inject uh, female fish before but I'm going to do that now don't mind me that I'm just putting on this I was a fish farmer it's not every time I don't need I'm not going to dress with that and walk inside here you understand all right so I'm still going to show you what we have we have some fish almost filled up in all these models that you are seeing right here and then this one we are trying to do is not for this place, it's for another place. But we're going to inject the fish right here. Okay. What is this? Team soda. Yeah? Team soda. Team soda. Team soda. You are sick? <laughs> so, um... Get, get me the... Help. Uh, before I continue, let me first of all introduce myself in case you are joining us for the very first time on this channel is your humble friend, Kufre Ibanga Francis, founder, First Fish Academy. 
on this channel we've uh, posted video over 400 showing you guys how to do so many things i derive joy teaching you guys because as a matter of fact all of you cannot get to me okay so if all of you guys cannot get to me on this channel so far we have over 8 million people that have viewed our tutu videos on this channel the 8 million people that have viewed our tutu channel on this video yeah so many people don't know how to subscribe that is a, as a matter of fact it is true that so many people don't know how to subscribe some people when it's time for them to subscribe they mistakenly unsubscribe without knowing so in case you are new and you've not subscribed to this channel before check below this video if if the subscribe button below this video is still showing red know that you are not a subscriber but if you want to follow us if you want to be learning on this channel which we've been presenting free of charge click on the red subscribe button to subscribe join over 100,000 subscribers already on this channel and i appreciate you in case you have subscribed to this channel if you are not new here thank you for making this channel over uh, have to, to uh, get over 100,000 subscribers all right so as i said a lot of things have been happening on this channel we've been doing it a lot of people are very very angry and they say come on a lot of people are mad at me say come on how can this guy be training people free of charge you know something that the people pay money for i have i've been doing it online for free i tell you a lot of people are not happy with me and some of you watching me right now are not happy with me as a matter of fact i have to say the truth i receive so many phone calls i know the people that are not happy with what i'm doing and some of you watching me here right now are not happy the truth should be told all right and then um <laughs> but they, sorry there is nothing i can do about it i'm aware that so many people right now they even present my videos they gather people collect money from them play my video on a screen it's something that is happening people call me say ah kufre francis sorry i attended your training in abuja uh please i i said like seriously you mean me sorry i have never organized training in abuja before all right but so people go there they get their their tv everything gather people take money from them play my videos just like that me that is doing the video i have not even done anything like that so <laughs> please i've never conducted training in abuja and in lagos or any place apart from port Harcourt before but we are going to do that so please don't fall victim and don't please something i've not done don't tell me that i've done it please all right so today we have so many uh, we have females that we've selected already for reproduction and then uh, please get me the the racks as i said please don't always handle your fish with dry racks all right don't always handle, handle your fish with dry wraps. Let, yeah, get the wrap, get things ready. Okay, in fact, come closer, just come closer. Come closer, come. Yeah, come closer. So you see what some of the things we've been doing here. Yeah, just take it down there, come. It's been long, you guys have not seen me live like this. I'm still alive, all right? <laughs> all right? I just needed to go back inside my shell, do what I need to do for you guys. All right? Please get the, get the wrap, please. Yeah. All right, so uh, some of you might see this. I have so many nozzles for this particular stuff, all right? This is a recirculating system in here the water from the pond get down to the pump recirculate so we are recirculating this water and all time the fish they do very well all right because there is enough dissolved oxygen in the water all right 
we have like uh, people watching me right now. A lot of a lot, a lot of you have not yet clicked on the like button. I don't know if you are just joining, but I feel if you appreciate what we have been doing on this channel, why don't you show it? I don't I don't want you to drop comments. I don't want you to. You can drop your comment, but let me know that oh fine the people watching me right now they appreciate what i do but if you don't normally appreciate what i do on this channel use the thumb down button it's not compulsory that you must click on the thumbs up button if you don't like what we have been doing please use the thumb down button please i accept critics all right or it's for me to do better all right so without wasting any of your time let's go direct into the uh and so what we are to do let's go direct first of all i have to wet my rag i have to wet my rag reason why i have to wet this rag is to enable or is uh is to protect the fish from the sliming not removing the slime from the fish that's why you must use a rag that is wet all right i've said it before I've, i'm saying it again so i'm going to bring it out here Please, first of all, um, I've always tell you guys, you don't just inject your fish. You don't just inject your fish without knowing the weight of the fish. The weight of the fish will determine the dose. The weight of the fish will determine the dose. So we have our initial, which is... 0 0.00 all right so we're going to scale the fish first before we administer the spawning hormones be friendly be friendly oh. We have the uh, 3 kg. You might want to ascertain. So we have the 3 kg of fish. All right. We have 3 kg fish here. And then I've always said that for every three or for every kg, what you are to administer is 0 0.5 mil. So if you are to administer or if you are to inject 0 0.5 mil, I mean 0 0.5 mil per kg, it means that for three kg is going to be 0 0.5 times three. Sabi mathematics. That is how many? That is 1.5. 0 0.5 times 3 is equal to 1.5. There is mathematics in fish farming, though, in case you don't know. <laughs> yeah, there is nothing that there is no mathematics. There is mathematics in fish farming. Why a lot of people have failed in succeeding as a fish farmer is because the mathematical aspect of the uh, of the business is being neglected understand that's why most people fail when you fail to plan you plan to fail and mathematics is equal to plan and plan is equal to mathematics so if you fail to plan you plan to fail all right so we have 0 0.3 fish and then we're going to inject it. I'm going to bring it out here. I'm going to bring it out here so that you see what I'm going to do. It's so unfortunate that people don't watch videos to the end. 
they come back asking me questions and it's very very annoying i must say it because i can't treat a matter on my channel understand then someone watch only one minute or because the person don't want to uh, 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 spend on data you understand they watch just one minute and they are off but these people are ready to go and pay a lot of money to go and learn elsewhere but when we are presenting it free of charge they feel they are wasting data and they go ahead to call me please I want to know this something that I've treated on my channel you are calling me man is tiring all right so that's why I always ask did you watch the video to the end he said no I watched only two minutes I tell you please go back to the video watch to the end why do, why would I waste my data it cost me too much to upload the video so why would I spend my data and then someone will just go there and watch just two minutes and go it doesn't make sense I'm a free teacher please enjoy the free class when I say I'm a free teacher it doesn't mean that you cannot appreciate people don't like appreciating because I'm not a pastor <laughs> the, nobody have called me as a Francis send me your account details you've done a lot for me but if I were to be a pastor so many things like that will be coming I'm a fish pastor in case you don't know I'm a fish imam yeah so people should learn to pay their tithes if you want to succeed as a fish farmer all right so we have our three kg female um before i blindfold the fish sorry i didn't do it i, I talked so i forgot so i'm gonna this is my spawning hormones so i'm gonna bring out 0.3 i know a lot of you are very angry because i'm talking too much but yeah 0 0.5 mil for three kg fish We have 47 people watching right now, but we have only 17 likes. It means it, it seems to be... Uh, yeah, some of you guys might not understand English. Uh, so maybe that's why they are not clicking the like. But don't worry, we are working on uh, presenting using French and other languages for people to understand. I'm sure the people that uh, have not clicked the like button don't actually understand English very well but so sorry i know a lot of there's a lot of requests that we should be presenting uh, in french language we are working on that but i have my sister who know how to speak french very well uh, a kemeni bana francis and it seems she's watching i think she will help me uh, most of the times interpreting all right so what I was trying to say, if you do appreciate what we have been doing on this channel, you can click on the like button. All right. So this is how to inject. I know after a lot of you are going to log out, but there is no problem. And <laughs> then you still call me after this. What did you do next? I will still refer you to this video. It's better for you to watch to the end. All right. So this is how to inject. I, I tell you guys, whenever you want to inject, ensure is at angle 45 what is angle 45 it boils back to mathematics angle 45 we have angle 90 we have 45 we have 180 360 different things angle 45 your angle 45 is 90 divided by 2 you know your perfect angle is 90 you know so that is your normal angle your and then you divide it into two when you divide 90 into two is 45 so and always ensure that you don't pierce the bone inside the fish the same way a doctor will not pierce your bone when he's injecting you all right you know what it means that the doctor injects you and then the needle touches your bone the same way you will feel is how the fish will also feel the funniest thing is that you might end up paralyzing might paralyze you for needle touching your bone it might end up paralyzing the fish 
all right so you blindfold the fish and then you inject yeah come close because you have to ensure you show your fish love that is angle 90 and then If you are not a fish farmer, you don't need to be angry with what I'm doing. Now. Some of you will say, ah, what are you doing? It's not everybody that is meant to see this. But if you are opportune to see it, you don't need to complain. It's something that is done everywhere. It's international standard. Just that they will not teach you. I, I give it to you free, free of charge. So you have to massage the fish after injecting, you know, so that um, the place will not swell up. That's why if you notice your doctor, after injecting your butos, you see the doctor will massage your butos. It's not because the doctor loves you, but so that uh, the place will not swell up. All right? But me, I love the fish. I have to massage it. Some, some of you don't love your fish. And that's why people are not succeeding. You have to love your fish. Thank you, Esther. Thank you very much. We have 42 people watching right now. Only 22 like. Uh, the rest are French-speaking people. Bonjour. Yeah. Bonjour, mademoiselle. At least I was taught a little French when I was in school. Yeah, for those of you that are from Aquaibom, a come there, Muneki Kombu for Tai Chi. All right. I don't neglect my state. All right. Someone is asking me how many fish farms do I own? Yeah, um, I'm. I know a lot of you have seen, oh, Fish Academy Project in Ghana, Imo State, Anambra, Enugu, Abia State, different places. Yeah, someone is just asking, how many fish farms do I own? In fact, if I've ever come to your farm, I am the owner of that farm. If I'm consulting for a particular farm, am I not the owner of that farm? I am the owner now. But this particular one is my own. This is where we do fingerless production. Then I have my farm still very close to my office. And then we are working on building a mega farm in Akwaibom State, in my, home, in my hometown. All right? So we have farms. All right? So how many cages is this? We have uh, 2.8. So we're going to inject. Bring it out. I don't know how to hide things from people. That is one thing about me. So please, if you are angry that I'm showing people free of charge, pardon me. I don't know how to hide things from people. All right? Any other question? Let me check. Sorry. No other question. I'm not close to the screen, so I might not see your question, but certainly I'll reply you later. Please, if any question should drop, let me know.
always ensure you don't remove slime from the fish. We are targeting producing over 500,000 fish before the end before the end of October. We are targeting producing over 500,000 fish. Okay, okay, okay. Someone is asking, after injecting, how many days does it take before, before stripping? I guess that's what is, the person is trying to. It's all going to take just something of nine to ten, nine hours. Nine to ten hours, depending on the temperature of the water. So we are going to bring out the eggs in the next ten hours. Nine to ten hours. That means, you know, how far we work day and night so we are targeting producing we are targeting the production of over 500,000 fish before the end of October 2021 today is what 11 today is 11 so bring it up 2.5 kg all right bring it out There is something I'm going to tell you right now. It's not compulsory. You understand? That. A lot of people have tried. And if you've tried and it's not, then please just ensure you get fish from quality uh, breeder, quality source. All right? The honest truth is that most people are agents. So you pay someone to supply you fish. They go to farms to search for fish to supply you. All right? So that is just the truth. Most people are agents. The, pe the person you are getting fish from is the person a verified fish breeder or is just like agents that, is, that look for house for people that doesn't own a house. All right? I'm not saying that it's bad for someone to be an agent, but if you are looking for quality fish, try and get it from the farm where it is being produced two point five so with me is Abraham Abraham show your face with me is Abraham. Abraham came in uh, for part-time job. He's a student. He has been working with me. So from my farm, he gained admission. Should I mention the school? Benway. Yes. Ben he gained admission into Benway State Polytechnic. So right now they are on holiday. He called me. So I got ah. Please, I want to come for a holiday job one month and go back to school. I said, oh, yeah, come now. So he wants to get more thing before he returns back to school. You know? They say, if you want to be a guy, you must follow a guy. Yes. Understand? So he's doing the right thing. A lot, a lot of people, they are learning. They don't even wait until they, are, they, are, they know what they do. They just jump just to go and start their own. That's why an Igbo man, we train someone for seven years before we open shop for the person. And the person will go on and do very well. That's why Igbo people are doing very, very well. Understand? Are you getting me? Yes. What are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have an Igbo blood in me. I know someone will say, you're an Igbo person. <laughs> I have an Igbo blood. Even if I don't have an evil blood, all my all the contracts have they have, have secured and executed. Understand? Apart from my Ghana project, all of them are from the east. So I always 
cut car for Igbo people. You, you are a Yoruba man. We've, we've had a lot of invitation there in the West. Understand? Say, please come to my side. Give me this, give me that. The same thing we do to the Easterners. We've been doing it in the West. But whenever we go for service inspection, design and all that, when we return, at times we even call the client. The client will not pick your call again. Most of the times I wonder, is the money? I don't understand. I believe one Yoruba man will call me and then give me a job. Let me, because at times I take that Yoruba people don't have money. That is how I take it. If I believe Igbo has money. It's not an insult, but I feel the Igbos have money more than the Yorubas. Someone told me ah, it, it, they don't have money. It's it, just that the Yoruba man, they don't like spending money. That's what someone told me. They don't, what people don't like spending money. What do you keep it for? So what do they do keep the money for? You keep it. Who should invest to? If you are a Yoruba man watching me. Which fish? It's catfish now. This is 2.5. It's catfish. Clara's. We always uh, advise people to, to do this because it grows faster. For quick turnover, it grows faster. All right? That's why most people supply Clara's. Any other question? Hit me. I'm not. <laughs> Shaggy. Shaggy will say hit me. Any other question? Is that question of the day? Oh yeah, hit me. Oh. <laughs> I like that guy, man. Oh yeah, hit me. If someone know white money, eh, someone should tell that man, that guy, to come and invest in fish farming. You know? If you know him, if you have any link to white money, a lot of you have link to white money, that, nine, that about 90 million, let him bring that 90 million and invest. Understand? Those of you that know white money, tell him that I say you should invest in fish farming, make the money not finish. I believe you guys would like to see me next year in the house, Big Brother Niger. Some of you don't like play. It's a very bad thing. When they see me joking, they, 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 they become angry. But sorry, life, you don't take life that very, very serious. Because serious people, you know where they are. So most people, you know you don't want to have deep in life. Please don't take life. Don't, you, should, you should learn to laugh and learn to smile. That's why most farmers that are succeeding today, they are farmers that love comedy. Understand? This one is free KG. So this one is one, one meal. Any question? What other species of fish do you? Okay, if you need tilapia, can supply you tilapia. Yeah. If you need tilapia, we can supply you tilapia. However, let me use this medium to. Uh, inform you guys that our project in Ghana, the 100,000 capacity fish farm, is nearly completion. We are going to uh, commission that project this month. So the job is 99.99999 completed. So if you, in case you want to see that video, you can see check it on this channel.
It's a very nice farm. My client is very, very happy. In fact, he's very, very happy. And I'm also happy with my client. Because it's not easy. Why is this project very important? It's uh, inducing, We're trying to induce the fish. We're trying to induce the fish using spawning hormones. Come, come. Why are you behaving like a man? Okay. That is true already. Huh? My mobile number. Plus two three four this live video so i can't write it there right now this live video i can't plus two i can do it, but i'm not close to the screen so if you are with your barrel is a plus two three four eight zero six nine zero three five three nine seven i call it again plus two three four eight zero Six nine zero three five three nine seven. Oh, yeah, hit me. Any other question? Why or why or? You know, if you are commercial fish, can anyone that base in UK start fish farm? Can anyone that base in UK start fish farm? Uh, as a matter of fact, hundred percent of my client base abroad. All right. Some of them based in the United States of America. Some of them right there in UK. All right. All my, all my clients based outside the country. All right. I think of recent, uh, I just noticed that uh, my client in um, the one in Imo State, where we constructed a 105,000 budget trap, my client is back. And anywhere from now, we'll be visiting that farm again. You know, that farm is doing very well. In fact, I said that farm is doing very very well he monitors his farm from from the u.s when he was in u.s he monitors his farm right there from u.s so you can you can set up your farm and stay anywhere you want he wishes to stay but please if you're a nigerian come back to this country and as come come all is well is it okay that is four already this is another two pages all right, come and invest. This, all right. Where is this one? Oh, no. It, the, uh, the quantity will determine that. Because for distance, as on do, on do. Bodo. What is it? B. Bono. It depends. That is, if you are, if it is, if you are buying, uh, if the quantity, if you order up to like maybe fifty thousand, yeah, we we'll take a charter because we are now going to send fish from Portacot, put it inside back of the vehicle or anything. No, if you need fish in Bono, Sokoto, Sambara, all those places. If you need, if you accept the order is high, then we do full load and then supply to you. But very, very soon, we are going to cover uh, small-scale fish farmers. So once we have our vehicle that can move to different geopolitical zones in the country, certainly when we are moving, we will announce. 
we are passing, we are going through the north, so anybody that is in the north will do what? We book. So we supply those people along the line. Very soon that is how it will be because my biggest problem right now is that we've not even been able, we've not been able to somehow satisfy the people that we are supposed to satisfy, which I am most concerned about, which are the small scale fish farmers. And these people, they are, they are, they are not happy with me. They say, oh Francis, I, I, you, you are supplying fish to social place. I needed fish, you didn't give to me. Is it because I am not a big, uh, is it because my farm is not big? No, it's not that. We consider logistics. We, do, we will not just give you fish, put it inside, no. But within the entire eastern state, no matter the quantity you need, we'll send it across. The entire south, south, south state, no matter the quantity you need, we'll send it across. But when it comes to the core north, the northeastern part and all that, even Benue, we send fish to Benue. We've sent fish to Jaws before. We've sent to different places. All right. Let me do. Let me do five. One, two, three, four, five. Let me do five. Yeah. Let me do five. Yeah, okay, because I will still need this place. The barbecue. How are you? That's one day. It's better than mobile. No, no, no. Three, five. I'm here with her. In the busy. This is very busy. Make a idea. We're doing that one. So these are some of the fish. The, these are one week. Okay, let me say one. These are these are nine days old fish. All right. So we have them. They are they are, they are much here. I believe we have over. We have over over fifty thousand. We have over fifty thousand fish in here. We have over fifty thousand fish. All right. Then right here we have we have uh, at least at least we should be having at least minimum of 20,000 fish then this one they are they are grown these are four weeks four weeks fish they are already looking like seven weeks fish and then this are we a red these are these are the phone all right they have to gather one place because of the light you know your nursery, your ashery, you don't need light for fish. Fish don't need your light. So please spare them your light. Who is that? Huh? You see the Aramba? Come on. So that's that. Uh, we've injected. Um, we've injected five. We still have. We've injected five. Some of you. 
some of you some of you will like this I'm sure a lot of people are going to learn from this have you seen this this maturation pawn all right you know most of the times when you inject your not even not even when you inject when you inject your fish you find out that before you come the following day they have injured themselves as if they are cat and rats all right they injure themselves as if they are cat and rat so if you don't want your fish to if you don't need them to fight all right fight for territory and all that you can put uh, partition your stuff like this there's no leakage here at all are you seeing that i'm using wood to do something but people refuse if you like what you've seen why don't you click on the like button someone just learn and then so ah thank god i've seen something you've seen something but what have you done about it you refuse to use the like button all right all right some of you will see so many other things when we when you come for training all right you see different things when you come for training all right so let me let me close it this way you need scale your farm some of you don't have scale take some of you don't have scale very very bad how can you be a fish farmer and you don't have scale don't have weighing balance if you want to learn about fry management take your time and come here come and learn fry management fry management is not something you fry management come here and learn if you want to learn how to manage fries a lot of you know how to breed but one day six days all the fish are this solution come for training uh, by next month I have someone that is coming in here from Ghana for training but some of you you find it too difficult when you say oh ah Francis oh Porta oh it's too far when people come in from outside the country for training and then you guys in Nigeria Nigeria is too far from Port Harcourt no it's not too far all right so so far so good uh, please endeavor to keep your farm clean a lot of you your farm are so so messy smelling doesn't make sense that you have a farm you cannot enter you that own that farm you find it difficult that when you when, when you go to your farm when you return home when you are breathing out the odor from your farm is is filling out your house it doesn't make sense like this place even if you want to sleep here you want to eat you want to be eating your you want to eat food here you want to be doing anything you do here this place does not have order understand it's a orderless facility understand so please you guys should endeavor to it's not most of you some of your farms eh? some of your farms is is, is is very bad and it's not good that if someone should even come there to buy fish and want to eat the person will be discouraged why is your farm like that cleanliness is next to godliness and some of you too you are a fish farmer you are very selfish remember you will sell your fish and that time you will know that i selfish also i close all right all right all right